up guys welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be something a little different uh we are heading to moab in the next two days we're leaving on saturday so i have to figure out how to get all of this all my tools boxes oils everything to fit in the back of here I've already took most of it out, so, uh, yeah. We're gonna try to get this all organized because I need room back here for all this stuff. Uh, also too, I'll go through what I got, what I'm taking, the necessities of going on a long trip like this, and all that, so stay tuned. And let's get to work. All right, first things first, uh, I'm gonna vacuum this thing out. I uh, had a bag of chips explode back here and there's a moth. There's a moth back here. So we're gonna clean it out first with this little DeWalt battery powered vacuum. And then from there, we're gonna try to figure out what we're gonna do with this stuff. I'm gonna go through, see what's in most of these bags because I just really threw this stuff together last minute. Because I don't even I don't even know what's in this jumper cables and stuff. I don't even know what's in here. Oils and greases and stuff. So let's get this vacuum started and get this thing cleaned up. We got her all sort of cleaned out. And, yep. Now to put all this stuff in there. All right, so in this rigid box, which I like these rigid boxes because they link to each other, like this one and this one, I had a bunch of zip ties random stuff my dewalt impact and zip ties and tape and sockets so in this one i'm gonna put the rest of my sockets and yeah this is a mess this is a mess uh crap well let's get to it Alright, so, so far I got uh, this cool Pelican style case from Harbor Freight. It's a pa they call it an Apache case, I guess. It's like a Pelican case. I got my, my cordless stuff in here, and then underneath, in this divider, I have sockets and stuff. So that's pretty nice. I'll be able to close this, hopefully. It closed a second ago. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll have to rearrange this. <clears throat> rearrange this here. Boom. Shut. Locks. So that's pretty nice. And then I got my small hand tools in here. And then I got my bigger mower sockets. Socket box. These are like little cobalt sockets for like little bitty stuff got that in here hammers random stuff keep these gloves in here i completely emptied this thing so i don't need that no more it's one less thing to pack so then i'm gonna have zip ties zip ties tape got a tarp that way if i to lay down tool repair kit that needs to go in here Fluids, I got jumper cables. Those aren't gonna go in there, but that's where I'm gonna put it right now. Engine oil. Power steering fluid. A random box. Some more hand tools that need to go in here. I got a hitch. Pit hitch with a thing on it. 
I have so many towels. Don't know why. 5W30 oil. I got oil everywhere. I gotta bring enough oil for an oil change if something happens. So, got this. And this needs to go together. Get all these rags out of here. Throw these away. And then that's pretty much it. So I'll get all this stuff cleaned up here in a second. Oil, water, empty container for water. And then I got here. Don't know if you can see or not because it's getting pretty dark. More sockets. Socket kit. And then this has got a bunch of random stuff in it. It's got U-joints. Tire patches. Tire gauges. Some wire. Throttle body cleaner. WD-40. Some uh, freaking blue mat, uh, blue thread tape. Random sockets. Valve stem. Valve stem removers. Uh, some bolts, lug nuts, you know, just the random stuff that you probably would need. So, alrighty, let's, oh, and then also too, can't forget the old fire extinguisher. Just got that fire extinguisher and the Via Air compressor here. Picked this up on Amazon, went to get a Smitty built, but they sent it back for some reason. So, buy air, and this is for, uh, it says up to 37s, so 35s. So, we'll see how good this does out. Moab, when I air down, I'll do a review on this when I go out to use it because I'll be using it a lot when I go out to Moab to air down every time, air up and air down. While we're on the trail and then i got my high lift my high lift i'll put it back behind here i'll put it back here whenever i get it i'm gonna put all the stuff back in here all right so four minutes i'm talking for four minutes all right let's get to it i'm about to lose daylight here so get to it Okay, so I got everything back in here. Uh, I don't need that toolbox anymore. That wasn't for, I'm not taking that. That's a little divider that came in my case. All these are uh, dirty rags. And as you can see, I got my light here. Got my compressor, got all my fluids, zip ties, duct tape, uh, black, uh, Gasket maker, tire patch stuff, all the stuff that I would need probably immediately right here. Then I got my case. I got a 12 ton jack that, um, look at the light. The high lift is back here with the axe and then a pry, a pry bar. And as you can see, I have a problem with towels, blue towels for some reason. I have those everywhere, but I got that. And then I got my tool bag, the uh, uh, cobalt tools I got right here. My uh, divider is there right here. My Via Air um, compressors right here. Got some more zip ties right here, just kind of out. They don't need to be going anywhere because they're another thing. I'm probably gonna have to move these because I don't think that's gonna stay there. So I'll have to deal with that later. And then I still have a tarp right back here. That way if I have to get out and land on the ground or something, it's done. So, breader. Still, I have to put my cooler in the back of the seat, in the back seat because I have a big Yeti. So that's gonna have to go back here. 
and then uh, which is fine I need to get to my cutter anyways so yeah that's pretty easy got rid of a whole container which is good because I was running out of room so that's it all right guys uh, thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for more because um, like I said, in two days, we're going to be heading from to Moab. So I'll be doing a lot of videos in Moab. I'll be doing, uh, lots of trails. Hopefully, hopefully we're going to be doing top of the world, hell's revenge, Moab rim, maybe who knows. I'll be up there for four days. So hopefully the old Jeep stays together. If not, you'll be along for the ride. So yeah, please like, and subscribe if you haven't, uh, I have also have merch, uh, starting to do some merch. So if you want to buy some merch and help support the channel, it's going to be in the link in the bio below. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. More to come. Later.